Halo is set to start E3 2021 for Xbox, a new Battlefield inspired mode a launch in September in a demo available right after the event. Let's check if this is real, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With Halo Infinite's E3 presentation right around the corner for us guys, a lot of people have been talking about leaks and speculation, and a recent one dropped some pretty big news about leaks when it comes to Halo Infinite. Gaming journalist Colt Eastwood recently made a YouTube video talking about all the information that he knows from insiders talking about E3's presentation, and Halo was part of that discussion. And he dropped some pretty big info bombs when it comes to leaks for Halo Infinite's E3 presentation. So as someone who's covered Halo news for years now at this point, I wanted to go over all these details to see how legitimate they are, if there are any trends that we can spot. So if you guys like these news and informational and analytical kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe Let's get right into the content here. First, Colt Eastwood talks about saying that the Xbox E3 presentation will start right off the bat with Halo Infinite. Now this does seem rather likely. As E3 2018 started off with the initial announcement of Halo Infinite and Xbox's biggest question I'm sure is gonna be, how is Halo Infinite? When can we play it? What's Halo Infinite gonna be like? Honestly, I think it'd be a good idea to start off with Halo just cause I feel like that would just be super distracting when you want to show like Ori and the new Pine Forest DLC. People are gonna be like, that's great. What about Halo Infinite? And as it's the most anticipated game for Xbox in 2021 to start off with Halo would be a great way to start the presentation. So this is very likely. Next leak discussed is the graphics and how we will see a helpful comparison about them as well saying that there will be a small teaser of campaign with improved visuals, but they're saying that the visuals will not jaw-dropping improvements. Basically, the game's not gonna be looking like Cyberpunk, basically, overnight. And with this leak, I can totally see happening as people are going to want to compare and contrast the visuals from 2020 to 2021, and was that year-long delay really worth it? Because I think for the most part, people won't really complain about how the graphics looked. I think they were complaining more about the functionality of the graphics. Talking about that disappearing grass that we saw um, walking through the environments. Talking about the pop-in geometry and textures that were happening when that Warhawk took that big jump. Talking about the muddy textures of the trees and rocks at the distance and things like that. So, so having much more finite, detailed kind of stuff, the polish that 343 has been talking about for the last year, pretty much since the E3 presentation. So when you see the graphics, it's not gonna be an amazing, oh my God, overhaul, but it's gonna be a fine detail overhaul where once you start kind of breaking down all the frames and stuff like that, you really will start noticing a difference. And 343 has showcased this with the initial release of the images for Halo Infinite and showing that the background stuff is kind of blobby and not really that well detailed. While some of the screenshots that they released throughout these Inside Infinite updates, which we have been covering consistently on this channel, you'll see that the draw distance has improved a lot as well. So I think 343 has shown some proof of this and I definitely think we'll get something like this. Another leak saying that this presentation is gonna focus heavily on multiplayer. Now this does seem to make sense with the key art for E3's presentation for Xbox, showcase Halo Infinite by like a squad of different Halo characters with different like Reach-like armor sets. And since we have essentially had three reveals of campaign stuff for 2018, 2019, and 2020, it's time to showcase some multiplayer. We've had this also leaked from Jeff Grubb, who's an insider. We've had this leaked from Clobril, who's also an insider, now Colt Eastwood. So basically, I think we can pretty much assume that it's gonna be multiplayer that we're gonna see for E3 for 2021. The big thing is that they're gonna showcase is their big new Battlefield-inspired mode, according to Colt Eastwood. This would make sense as Clobril did leak a BTB 2.0 mode in a tweet a while ago, saying, I know there won't be a Battle Royale mode. To my limited knowledge, instead the team is creating a Big Team Battle 2.0 mode, which is a better fit for Halo, including massively enhanced vehicular combat, squad spawning, incoming Pelican drops, and many more surprises. Now when they say like Battlefield inspired mode, I'm thinking like large scale, like 60 plus players within the lobby playing against each other, which would be absolutely incredible. Essentially a BTB 2.0 is what he's talking about here, which has been a leak that Clubworld talked about a long time ago. So this one I'm like, 
likely we haven't really heard anything about this mode officially just from Clobro and now this guy but this game we're noticing trends when it comes to what Halo Infinite leaks have been and this is what they're talking about right now next they're talking about a launch time frame for Halo Infinite now my expectations is November because this one tweet from Body Ross from when the announcement of the delay initially happened she said oh hmm 2021 someone has an anniversary happening that year right yes because it's the 20th anniversary of xbox we've had steve downs himself say that the game's gonna launch in november who voices master chief everything seems to be on track now for a november uh, release on infinite and we've had vernon roberts who voices a new character within halo infinite say the game's gonna launch in november as well so now it's pushed till later november of this year now we do know that the launch date is gonna be fall of 2021 but in september would be rather the interesting as 343 has never released a game in September. They've released Halo 4 in November, they released Halo 5 in late October, but launching in September would be very bungee like. And I think with this kind of delay that they did for Halo Infinite, it sounds like they would need like every month possible to make this game what they want it to be. And most of the large name games that get released for a year for the fall get launched in late October, early November. And plus, releasing in September would give 343 way less time for the flighting process, which we still don't really know much about how they're going to do about it for Halo Infinite, because an extra two months of development time is absolutely huge in these kind of cases. So a September launch, I'm very much thinking that's not going to happen, but I'm highly expecting a November release. And last, he finishes off saying that there will be a demo available right after the event. Now, this one I'm also very skeptical on, because it just kind of interferes with the philosophy of the flighting process. If he means demo, maybe like early access flighting access or something like that, that would make a little bit more sense. But like a demo, you can just strip download to your computer right after the event, which would be awesome. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see this happen. I just feel like it wouldn't really fit the narrative that we've been getting about Halo Infinite for the last few years, especially over the last year since December when I've been covering all these Infinite news drops, that it would be more flighting that would be available rather than an actual demo. And 343 stated that they wanted to start small with these demos and then get larger and larger as they get closer to the release date as they get more feedback. So maybe flighting will be available right after E3, which would be amazing. I'm just kind of worried about that kind of announcement at E3 because think about this, People are gonna get flooding a bunch of people over to halowaypoint.com to sign up for the Halo Insider program. Right after E3, there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people watching this event. Thousands and thousands of people are gonna be flooding Halo Waypoint to sign up for the Insider program most likely crashing the website because no website is designed to have that many people on it at the same time unless you're like Facebook. And can you imagine the news debacle that would happen if after E3 they bring all this hype saying, hey, sign up for the Insider program now. People go sign up for the program, the website crashes. That would just probably get like a bunch of bad press and stuff like that. It'd just be a mess. I expect the Insider program to be talked about at least with a blog update that's going to correspond with this E3 presentation, which we certainly will cover on this channel as well. As a blog post has corresponded with an E3 release since 2018. And trust me, as more details get revealed, I will cover them on this channel. But let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on all these leaks. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you tap subscribe, or if you've missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got like a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.